I'm going to do a quick uh, fuel system breakdown for you guys. So there's the fuel tank. It sits in the front. Put the fuel in. Right there. Fuel comes out. Right there. This is the part that you screw on. So that's the part that screws on to the top of the fuel tank. I labeled the uh, uh, different tubes with zip ties so you know which one's which. And I'll explain all of them. Um, basically you have your two tubes that drop down inside the tank. These sometimes can get rotted and corroded. There's little filters on the tip of them so that it doesn't suck up too much garbage from the uh, bottom of the tank in case any leaves or anything like that get in there or bad gas. So these are in really good shape. They can get pinholes in them and lose suction. So that could be a possibility if you get a no start with no fuel getting to the motor. Um, you have two of those dropping in. The one that's longer is the reserve can suck up the remainder of their fuel in case you get stranded when you run out when it's on on. So the reserve one's about six inches longer in case you have to get uh, new tubes cut. You don't use regular fuel injection tubes like these. You don't use the black tubes. You have to use the clear ones because they last longer when they're submerged in gasoline. So those two go into this part. You have the green which is the reserve. That's the one that's longer. And then you'll have the blue, which is the on, when you select on with the fuel uh, selector. The yellow here is going to be your vent tubes. There's actually two of them. One of them was just free floated in the jet ski like this. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to connect to something, but that might be a, uh, a one-way valve on there or something like that. But that, that one was just free floating in there so it wasn't connected to anything so I hope that's what it was. If, uh, if it's not, someone correct me, I haven't checked the manual yet. Uh, the other two vent tubes, that's the one that splits off at T's right here and then the other one actually connects way down in the bottom right there to the bottom of this plastic tub. So that's where the other one on, on that tees off. So the two uh, green and blue, which are the reserve and the on, those go, go up to your dial and I'll show you that next. So this is the layout for your dial. On the left side you're going to have the blue. On the back you're going to have double yellow which is the out and then the green is going to be on the right and that's with the dial facing you. So the double yellow comes out down here this is uh, basically a primer. It's a one-way primer bulb. And then that's going to go onto the uh, fuel pump. The uh, red, which is the return on the back, is this one, which runs from here back to on there, which is right next to the green and the yellow. So the double yellow is going to go on the intake side of your fuel pump right there. Then you have this uh, fuel pump feeds three carbs separately. Most of them just feed with one, but I uh, decided to get this one instead. This one's the vacuum, which actually hooks up right there, which I'm actually flushing the engine out right now. So there's a uh, there's gas leaking out of there right now. And then there's your fuel return, which would be that red.